Storm Brian causes flooding in southwest Ireland. Storm Brian has caused flooding in some coastal areas on Ireland's southwest coast. Limerick City appears to be one of the areas worse hit, with the River Shannon having overflowed. A yellow wind warning is in place for the rest of the Irish Republic. A yellow rain warning covers counties Donegal, Galway, Leitrim, Mayo, Sligo, Clare, Cork, Kerry, Limerick, and Waterford. Storm Brian is the result of a weather bomb of low pressure in the Atlantic Ocean. The huge waves were seen thrashing against the lighthouse during the bad weather earlier today. It has arrived in Ireland as the country is still picking up the pieces in the wake of Ophelia. The storm caused huge waves which battered the coast of Britain, including Ilfracombe and Devon. Electricity network operator ESB has warned that the latest burst of bad weather will hamper efforts to restore power to around 37,000 customers still without electricity in the wake of Monday's violent winds. A tree collapsed earlier this afternoon on a road in Shirell Heath, Hampshire, UK. A plane preparing for landing at Manchester Airport is affected by the aggressive wind from Storm Brian. British Airways jets and halts ferry services with 70 miles per hour winds and huge waves causing travel chaos. Ferries is warning that Dover Calais services on Saturday are being delayed by up to an hour because of bad weather. Dozens of flights and ferries have been cancelled today as Storm Brian swept across Britain and caused chaos. British Airways cancelled 10 flights to and from London Heathrow to try and slow the pace of arrivals at the UK's busiest airport sparking fury among customers who were forced to rebook flights. The Energy Networks Association, representing the UK's energy infrastructure, said residents could call the free 105 advice telephone number in case of damage to local network and power supplies. We are more concerned about flooding occurring in areas such as the northwestern and southwestern parts of England and also Wales, which is why our flood alerts and flood warnings remain in place. The Harbour Master's office in Tenby Harbour, Pembrokeshire, Wales, was destroyed by Storm Brian this afternoon. The front of the office has been completely ripped off from the front of the building and debris is seen scattered around inside. We have already seen some water overtopping in Wales this morning, he said. A dramatic lift stream from Porth Call lifeboats showed waves crashing over the pier this morning as the strong winds begin to take hold in the southern parts of Wales. Waves have battered and flooded the promenade in Aberystwyth, Wales, causing problems for pedestrians, motorists and local businesses. Less than a week after Tropical Storm Ophelia killed three people, Ireland's weather office issued a warning that winds were likely to average 34 to 40 miles per hour in western regions, with gusts topping 60 miles per hour. Dozens of chairs were blown over by the strong winds in the West Wales town. The bad weather is a result of after weather bomb forming over the Atlantic Ocean two days ago. Pictured is the seafront in Portholiven, Cornwall. National Flood Duty Manager for the Environment Agency Ben Lukey warned members of the public against posing for photos during the hazardous conditions. He said, Environment Agency teams are on the ground, checking defenses and taking precautionary action to close tidal gates and put up temporary barriers. A forecaster for the Met Office, said, We are more concerned about flooding occurring in areas such as the northwestern and southwestern parts of England and also Wales. A dramatic lift stream from Porth Call lifeboats showed waves crashing over the pier. The Environment Agency has issued 42 flood alerts, as well as six flood warnings urging immediate action. We are working with the Met Office and local authorities and are ready to respond as necessary. We urge people to stay safe along the coast and warn against putting yourself in unnecessary danger by taking storm selfies or driving through flood water, just 30 centimeters is enough to move your car. This Fantusky graphic shows the strong wind gusts moving over Britain, largely moving towards the west. People are seen watching the waves batter the Lyme Regis coastline as water sprays across the promenade. Waves on the seafront in Porthcawl were seen crashing into the streets and worryingly close to people's homes in the early hours of this morning. The Energy Networks Association, representing the UK's energy infrastructure, 
said residents could call the free 105 advice telephone number in case of damage to local network and power supplies. A walker was seen taking a photograph next to the vibrant sea in Brighton earlier today despite warnings from officials to not take storm selfies.